Hello everyone and welcome to Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. I finished my baby blanket and wanted to show you so I have a few other things for us to talk about, okay? Um, here's the finished baby blanket. Let's see. It's a pretty good size. And let me fold it up so it's easier to show you the pattern and the trim and everything. So. And again, I used the vintage yarn from Red Heart. It was Red Heart Baby Sport in the color 1985 Jack and Jill. And then the border, let's see if we can get up close so you can see that border. So I did several rows, let's see, I can't remember if it's three or four rows of single crochets, and then you did some double crochets, and then you did some slip stitches and single crochets to make your little uh, scalped border. But it was really easy to follow, and I followed Jo to the World Creations, and I will link her below. And I will try to also link this this specific <laughs> uh, tutorial for you. So if you want to go over there and make a baby blanket, you can. And see, there's the corners. And I was thinking even you could have, like, I've got, it's got a sparkle to it, this yarn. And I just made the whole thing in the same yarn. But you could go and do a solid white sparkly border. I mean, you could do a solid solid border to match whatever colors you had in your blanket. That would be really cute. So there was that I finished. Now I've got to think of a new um, something to start. I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. <laughs> so I'll have to go out there and look and see if there's any uh, tutorials that I want to do next. Um, let's see. What else? I wanted to share with you a couple Mother's Day cards that I got from my kids. Um, this is from my son, Kayla, and his wife. Isn't it pretty? And it says, Mom, the older I get, the more I realize how blessed I am that God gave me you. You've given so much through the years, your time, your prayers, your wisdom, your love, even in the trying seasons. I knew I could always count on your acceptance and love. I'm so thankful for all you've done and everything you are to me. Having a mom like you gives me so many reasons to celebrate today. Happy Mother's Day. And it's got 1 Corinthians 13 and 7, love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. I love uh, the love chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Beautiful chapter. And even reading it in the Amplified, it's like, oh, wow. It's just beautiful. Uh, and then, it, then they wrote, Happy Mother's Day, I love you, Corey, Peanut, <laughs> Rose, and Kayla. So that is so pretty. I love it. I love cards and stuff. And that was just so sweet. And then Brittany, Brittany always um, outdoes herself. <laughs> she wanted to not buy a card for me. She wanted to hand make one like she did when she was little. So she handmade me a card. And she she's, Brittany knows sign language and she's wanting to learn even more. Uh, but she's got these little sign language stickers that say, Happy Mother's Day. Isn't that cute? And then there's a picture of me and her, and then Abby, my cat, and little her cat. And then she drew some flowers in the house and stuff. Isn't that so cute? The sun and the birds. And there's some more clouds up here, and then there's a little, I love you in a heart in sign language. And then inside... It's just decorative paper. It says, I love you, Nani, from Little Rose. Little is Brittany's cat, and they refer to me as Nani with all the cats. All the cats, I'm Nani. <laughs> and then it says, thank you, love you, Brittany. And then she even put the ear on the back. Isn't that cute? I love that. That is so cute. My eyes are watering from allergies. I took my allergy pill this morning. So, another thing I wanted to briefly um, mention and share with you is someone asked about scrunchy yarn. I'll see if I can get just where you can see it. See the the rough yarn. I don't, I couldn't find any but my purple, which is kind of dark. So I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see. But see how it's got all that, and it's real rough to make the little scrubby pads for your face or your dishes. So I was just going to give you a little quick um, 
tip on that, okay? And I just, I got some green, 100% cotton yarn. Okay. And then my scrubby, hold on. I'm gonna put them in this basket so they don't run away with me. And say you're doing your scrubby, whether you're doing a circle or square or whatever, I put the two together. So I put a strand of 100% cotton and a scrunchy yarn together because it makes it so much easier to see where your, uh, <coughs> excuse me, your uh, chains are and stuff. Um, I'm just going to do a, a row or two just to show you. And you would do it in the round or square, whatever you're doing. You do your stitches or whatever. How, but I'm going to start with a slip knot and just do a ro couple rows to show you what I do. Or I could even do, let's do a circle because that's what I would make mine in would be probably a circle. So I'm going to do a magic ring. So I take the yarn on my fingers. And I can show this again later if you want to see a video where it's facing down and you can see it real good. And I wrap the yarn around my finger and cross it. Make an X. Okay? So I'm making an X with the yarn. Then I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to go under the first strand, grab the second strand, and pull it around, slide it down, and then I'm going to come up and grab that second strand under my hook, oh, sorry, under my hook, and pull it through that loop I kind of created from going through all those. And then that is your magic ring that you can adjust. So let's just do uh, six single crochets right now. And see, when you're doing it, it's, it's making it easier to see your yarn. So I'm just going in there doing single crochets inside the loop. Three, four, five, ah, six. And then you just pull to tighten up your loop. Well, let me pull it. And then you, you want to connect it. So I would count my loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in the sixth or the very first loop coming around that I started with, I wrap my yarn over my hook when I put it through that loop and I'm going to do a slip stitch. I'm just going to pull through and then pull through and I'm going to chain one to keep it there. Okay. But so there's what it looks like. And, uh, this is where I pull tight and that can be sewn in later. Or you can, what I'll probably do is I would just crochet and include it with my loop as I'm going around like I would lay it up here, and when I go into a, my next loop, I would make sure that's in, included with that, and I'm going through and, and doing the next row on top of that. But that's what you do, and see, it gives you that scrunchy, it's got your scrunchy look, but you got your cotton also, makes a good little washcloth scrubby pad, and I will finish this out probably about that big, and I will show it next to you next time. But if y'all want me to do a tutorial on one of these, let me know. And I'll, I will gladly do that. That way the camera's, you know, pointed down on the table and you can see what I'm doing exactly. But I just wanted to t tell you, you know, how you use that if you didn't want to wear. I know I have some new crocheters and new subscribers that haven't used scrunchy yarn before. And I wanted to just kind of share that little tidbit with you, okay? So there's that. And I will finish that, and then I'll show you the next video that I put up, maybe Monday. Well, not the next video, but, you know, uh, maybe on Monday's uh, whip video. I'll show you what I've done on that one. It's works in progress. I'll probably, hopefully, have a new something started on, and I'll show you that. But I will fin show you the finished object as far as a little scrubby pad. And like I said, again, you make it maybe six, seven inches in diameter. Just good enough, and it's good for your dishes. It's good for exfoliating your skin, washing your face with it. Don't wash your face with the one you used with your dishes, okay? <laughs> you have them for what dishes, and you have them for your face. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm getting one of my grandsons t this evening, and he's going to spend the night with us, and I'll have him all day tomorrow. 
So I'm trying to get this video and I've got another review coming up video that we'll be posting tomorrow um, to show you some products that I got in the mail. But I'm going to go ahead and do it today. So I'll be wearing the same outfit, okay? But it doesn't mean I'm wearing it two days in a row. <laughs> but, um, and again, in case I don't see, don't talk to you um, before Mother's Day, because that video will just be a review and I won't add any personal stuff in it, you know, our channel stuff. Um, I want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Whether you're a mother of a child or the mother of a pet, because they're our babies too. And also um, to the fathers out there who have to be a mother to their children. Because I know how that is. I was a mother and father for several years for my children. I had to play both roles. And my husband Chris, he had to play mother and father role with his daughter uh, for several years before we got together, you know, and stuff. So there's mother is not necessarily just the traditional mother and there may be even a grandparent that is raising her their children and they're playing that mother role so anyone who has a mother role in their life right now uh, that you're doing I want to say happy Mother's Day and may God bless you and strengthen you and help you in that role of being a mother to whoever God has placed in your life and in your care okay I love you guys I appreciate you so much Oh, I wanted to mention this. Um, on my watch hours, I'm still needing like 1,200. This is what I found out. If you don't clear your history, then, okay, like if you watch my videos and then you go back to rewatch them, if your history has not been cleared, it doesn't count it the second time. Your history has to be cleared so it doesn't show pr a previous watch of that video or it won't count. So, um, if you re-watching my videos and you want to try to help with watch hours, clear your history first and then watch them again because it won't count if it's on, if if it's in your history. I just found that out and that's so crazy. Um cuz Chris was watching them and uh Brittany was watching them and stuff and I just realized, you know, I just found that out that it only counted it the first time because they didn't clear their watch history. So that's just a little tidbit and I think that the volume has to be up at 30% or something. It has to be up a little bit. Now, that volume being up is on YouTube side. If you have it up on YouTube, but you've turned your volume down on your device that you're using to watch my video, then they can't tell that. And, I mean, you know, they don't register that it's not up. So, if you have it lower on your devices, that's fine. It's just in the YouTube app itself or the YouTube place, whatever you call it, channel, whatever it is. Uh, the volume has to be up on that. For it to count. Um, and I won't get any credit for any videos that are showing on my uh, videos. Any, you know, commercials. Any commercials that are showing, I don't get credit yet until I'm monetized. And I am not there yet, just yet. But thank you all for your support and your time. And uh, we'll talk to you later in Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole, okay? Bye for now.